Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, with another channel tarot card message for you today. Okay, what's going on, Virgo? <laughs> Virgo's paying super close attention to the details at this time. So we're using a gold universal tarot to pull in some messages from the spiritual divine here to see what messages we have for you guys. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel as you come into the reading, right? Check your moon, rising, Venus, and north node uh, readings as well. We're getting some splendid messages today, right? Good vibes, good vibes. Let's get into your reading here today, Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo today, spirit? What messages the spirit has for Virgo? What do we have for the therapeutic session today? One more shuffle and then we'll get into it. I see Divine Feminine showing up here. All right, so what's grounding you? Eight of Wands, incoming messages here. People wanting to partake in your energy here. Or this could possibly be you being very busy, possible traveling here. Maybe you're doing some sort of a ritual here. Let's take a look. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Mm. Now, if I was to tell you what's actually going on around me right now, <laughs> I have a whole a bunch of homeless black men that have nothing to do with themselves currently surrounding me like a bunch of hyenas, right? Let's finish off this reading. <laughs> it just began, and I'm like, let's finish off this reading. <laughs> uh, but someone could be in a very financially destitute situation. This could be definitely homelessness. The next card that comes up is Two of Pentacles, trying to find your way or juggling your health and juggling your finances here. We have spying. Yeah, I mean, the cards will tell it all, right? And they're they're like, you know how a woman would literally like drop her purse in front of you or like bend over in front of you? This is exactly what these guys are doing right now. Now, I'm not sure if they're homosexual or not, but I see that they're homeless and they have nothing better to do <laughs> than to surround me right now. Oh, that guy's playing with cards. What's he doing? But this could be someone learning from you at this time. We have Six of Swords moving away from toxicity and negative thoughts here let's go ahead and clear out the energy tower moment yeah someone's being it's being forced um into a, a clarifying moment at this time to take a look at themselves accountability right yeah judgment judgment has been called on the situation here this could have been some sort of um what do you call it um eviction this could be some sort of a whistleblower um yeah the judgment coming out after the tower card yeah that's that's oof. someone is being forced to take accountability here for me saturn and libra energy scorpio yeah it's more to life you need knowledge to survive on the earth plane right you need occultism you need to know how to read and write you need to have some sort of an expertise right no one wants to learn from anyone, but you need teachers, you need mentors, you need guidance counselors, right? You need professionals to come back into your neighborhood and invest, right? Invest. Otherwise, you have this sort of a situation where people are being kicked out of their homes, kicked out of their community, and they're just wandering around in a park. Now, I wander around in a park on a daily basis because that's what I like to do. I could very well go to another state and just wander around in the forest for hours, right? going on a long journey, a hike. I have no problem with traveling up Florida, walking these long 30, 40 mile hikes, because that is what I like to do. But when you're forced into a situation like that, because all you know is bullshit, I mean, what, what can you aspire to do here? We have the death card. Oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> For Virgo's reading here? Okay, Virgo, you need to be very intentional and pay very close attention to what's going on around you at this time. Possibly your finances or what people are trying to feed into your periphery, right? Your gateways, your dimensions, right? We don't even realize. <laughs> we talk about our five senses. That's 5D. That's five different dimensions, right? What you eat, taste, right? What you see, sight, what you hear, right? All these different things. What you feel, what's around your actual tangible plane. All these different things. What you let into your mind, what you let into your heart, your psyche, all these things are going to develop the person that you are or are going to lead you down a road, whatever road that is, whether it's success or whether it's hindrance here. All right. The sun is the I'm sorry. Yeah, the sun is the night of the day, but the moon is the light of the night. Right. Illumination here. This is occultism. Right. What's being hidden books. Right. These same two guys, uh, they lucky that they have a park to uh, walk around in. 
because in the past uh black men and this is where that stigma comes from right they would typically if they were found congregating with each other like they would get killed right the question would be is why are you two negras right uh talking to each other right what are you planning right slave revolt of uh, re revolts and that sort of thing what am i getting here someone's definitely learning something or someone needs to be teaching something at this time right could have a young teacher they're needing to um develop some sort of emotional discipline it's reminiscent of that one female therapist um who got fired for talking crazy to men right exactly and this is how we end up with homeless men because we have teachers that don't care about them or people that claim that they are um invested in these people's um future but they're not four of swords meditative state we definitely have death showing up here right or an, again a meditative state of mind here so this could be sex drugs and alcohol no sex well yeah sex drugs and alcohol because i've seen women sleep with homeless men right i've seen men sleep with homeless women right there's no integrity in his reading we have six of swords and then on top of it we have two of swords so an eight of swords situation mental imprisonment mental toxicity no clarity no occultism right no will to live <laughs> man sorry to bring such a harsh reading to you here here virgo let's take a look at the major arcanas now this may not be you this could be someone that uh, around you that you're dealing with here right maybe not sure if you're some sort of a guidance counselor if you're some sort of a teacher or a parent right we have oof Scorpio twice and Pisces right. a shocking moment death coming to a situation something's being hidden as well mm -hmm. could be dealing with a clairvoyant could be dealing with someone that's into that uses occultism in a, ne in a very nefarious ways here this is witchcraft right this would be an earth angel Or someone's needing to see a therapist or a psychologist here. What's up, man? <laughs> Trying something new, huh? Oh, trust me. I was... Oh, you might... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got two of swords and two of pentacles. So this could be trying to figure out a new way to make money here, right? Trying to ground yourself. So There's a lack of clarity here. Mm -hmm. My cousin's boyfriend shows his face at the park. That's very interesting. We have uh, the only high court card I see would be Page of Swords, a spy. Right. Right. So that's what I got for you today. We do got synchronicities or um, we have four, five, six. So this would be maybe a nap or trying to detox somehow. Moving out of a toxic or negative situation here. Again, we need to be we need to know what occultism and where knowledge is being hidden and not people tell us. The same people that make the rules break the rules, right? <laughs> so, again, we need teachers and people that's not that's not going to. Okay, so someone's leaving a trail. This could be uh, breadcrumbs here. A star seed showing up. Yeah, divine uh, feminine. Yeah, some sort of, some sort of a miracle worker or a miracle child here. Right. Someone's in your peripheral. They know what they they know what they're doing, right? So come out of whatever uh, toxic uh, state of mind or maybe someone around you is in a toxic state of mind. They need to come out of this, right? If you're going to commit suicide, just do it, right? Don't wallow around people. Don't just don't rub off negativity, right? And there's always hope at the end of the day. The star symbolizes hope, right? It's healing. It's knowledge. Knowledge is power. The more you have it, the less you feel like you don't have any power, all right? So that's what I got for you guys today. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Peace.